good afternoon everyone uh, this is rushika hathi from team monomosumi and uh, here we have a very tremendous personality with us yes we are having dr vikas kumar sharma with us so here uh, we are starting with the talk series again and a kind of a interview sir i heartily welcome you to the monomosumi's interview thank you ma'am thank you very much thank you welcome sir how are you doing uh, i'm good ma'am how are you i'm great sir uh, here so let me brief you about uh, dr vikas kumar sharma an amazing personality with us uh, if i you know introduce it will take lots of time so uh, i will start with a short bio of a sir that is by profession dr vikas is a lecturer writer science researcher science innovator social activist and a sports person name of the awards like he has huge list of, list of awards that is 50 to 60 awards but to name a few i have listed as dr apj abdul kalam rashtriya puraskar 2020 dr sarvapalli radhakrishnan shiksha shiromani national award 2020 triple hat trick world record with consecutive nine gold medals in english story writing and international seed of knowledge award 2020 and many more because wo bahut badi list hai so if we would uh, you know if uh, i will brief you about it it will take a lot of time so sir i would know, uh, like to know about you in detail so sir let me know something uh, about you ma'am you have introduced me okay am i audible ma'am Yeah, sir. You are audible. Am I audible clearly? Okay, thank yeah, you, ma'am. Ma'am, as as you have already introduced me in a very nice way. Thank you very much for that. So, uh, actually, by profession, I am a lecturer. I am lecturer in chemistry. I am working in Delhi Public School, Isar, and uh, I'm audible, ma'am. I'm audible. Audible, sir. Okay, right. So, I'm a writer also. I write in English. I write in Hindi as well. so but most of my stories poems and articles essays i have written in english language so i have been awarded at national international level many times there is a long list and few ma'am has mentioned also so and i am a sports person also i am a runner athlete in uh, sports also i have won many awards so i increase uh, my students i increase the people who are in my circle i increase them for uh, writing work Uh, i encourage them for the sports activities and i do social work so i encourage for that also yes ma'am thank you so much sir we are so very much glad to have you uh, with monomosumi thank you ma'am thank you uh, dr vikas i would like to know that how did you come to know about monomosumi uh, okay right ma'am i remember it was a uh, 2018 i remember and uh, i was searching on google so then i came to know about monomosmi i found that there were competitions like a story writing competition was there there was a poem writing competition also so first uh, i applied i participated in story writing competition and i remember my story was when she stopped stealing when she stopped stealing it was the story i participated with that story and that was already award winning story and that was appreciated by monomosmi as well second time uh, i remember it was a poem competition i participated and i participated with my poem rambunctious scrum and uh, the story she stopped stealing so that was uh, on the online platform by monomosmi also and rambunctious scrum also so rambunctious scrum is uh, a poem which is uh, a it is based on one real story ma'am so a few years back uh, something happened so that was based on that that was also appreciated by monomosmi team and for both the things uh, i got uh, uh, some prizes uh, for story i got uh, uh, one personalized pen i remember and for this poem i got a gold medal so after that i started getting updates from monomosmi then i came to know there is one more competition that is uh, essay writing competition that is uh, international essay writing competition and uh, there were no few also so i was getting updates for that so one uh, and it is organized monthly so uh, once uh, i got a topic that was uh, uh, soaring heat of summer i remember 
and that was uh, i found it like it was my cup of tea so i thought i should go for it because i am from science background so i thought okay definitely i will be writing for it so i wrote uh, about whatever knowledge i was having about that topic uh, i wrote related to the environment pollution uh, uh, and uh, air pollution water pollution lot of things were there which cause you know climate change and uh, lead to climate change and uh, you know thereby increasing uh, uh, temperature that is global warming so i was uh, knowing about all these things so i uh, wrote the content related to and by luck like, i was selected also so i got first prize in that ma'am Oh, and uh, one uh, very good thing uh, which yes ma'am one very good thing i want to tell you about um, uh, not only me which attract to the students uh, which attract i would say which attract public at large so that was there are not only three positions there is first position second position and there is a position for editor choice also there is a position outstanding uh, uh, writing or something like that and in that also there is one more speciality like if it is first prize it is not only meant for one person if it is second prize it is not only meant for second person so all deserving will get a place somewhere either in the first three positions or in outstanding uh, writing part or editor choice means if your work is uh, really uh, deserving so you will get a place there so that i like also ma'am yes please monomotomy plays a very vital role in that because they have the you know the categories the differentiated the outstanding and praiseworthy and that's that's an amazing thing about the monomotomy thank you so much sir for appreciating yeah, our right, work right. Uh, sir, yeah yes ma'am you know that uh, you are into lots of things into writing right so sir do you think reading and writing both works parallelly how much reading is important uh, ma'am uh, will you please repeat what you said i said I sir i missed the starting part okay okay uh, sir the thing is like uh, do you feel that reading and writing works equivalently or it works parallelly do reading has importance as equivalent to the writing okay uh, i got your point thank you ma'am actually like uh, uh, when it comes to the writing part right ma'am so we must have content with us so from where we should get the content we get the content from the things happening around us or the things uh, uh, which have seen in our own life or things uh, we uh, which we have come across uh, while reading so all these things uh, help us to get the content and uh, what i want to say is uh, like uh, when it comes to the writing so people think about what to write so this is very easy for writing means you have hundreds of story you you have hundreds of incident around you happening uh, in a week in a month every day whole year it may be related to your own life it may be related to your relatives life uh, it may be related to your friends or public at large or uh, there are few things so you see on the television in the movies also so anything may click you at any time so what i believe is you must not go into the technical thing like uh, if you if you just want to write you are not a professional you know technical things are more taken care by the technical person professionals one so what i believe is if you want to write you just start writing write about your father take any topic take a father mother you know uh, any to any topic you can start writing you start, start writing, writing. Uh, on something something inspirational you write about yourself you write, write about what happened uh, the whole day you just start writing don't go uh, very deep in the technical part so what can be done is a uh, few things you have to because uh, when you write something you want people to read it you want uh, people to follow you want people to appreciate what you have written so what i believe is uh, uh, your writing content must have few things like my name is uh, vikas so I, i have given a name uh, like in science essay writing competition i wrote uh, uh, a principle of 9 hours generally we see the principle of 3 hours reduce recycle and reuse but i made it to i i took it to the 9 hours so i i did few more thing recreate recovery and few more thing so similarly uh, in english writing also i added 5 uh, v's so this is uh, i believe in creative and uh, innovations also i am innovator also as you uh, have mentioned in my bio so 
like uh, wheeze, uh, like very good, very good material you must have. Means your material should be very meaningful. Otherwise, people will not read. You know, there are a lot of magazines, there are a lot of books, there are a lot of writers. So it becomes very difficult to decide which book I should go, which uh, go to purchase, which uh, book I should uh, read. So means it's very difficult. But when you write something meaningful, so this is uh, important. So it should be very meaningful. Second thing is, uh, ma'am, like, uh, okay, uh, you have written something very meaningful. There are a lot of things where are many useful things that have been written by various writers. But the thing is, it should create interest of the readers. So interest is also required. So very inter it should be very interesting. I, I would not say it should be interesting. I would say it should be very interesting. Only then people uh, will look for, will wait for your writing work. Second thing is how to make it interesting. This is also very important. So what I believe is a, a rhyme scheme. Rhyme scheme will uh, 100% it will help. It will help to make your content interesting. Second uh, thing I told you, uh, first is uh, it should be very meaningful. Second, uh, uh, I told you like uh, to make it very interesting and uh, related to the rhyme scheme. So there should be some rhyme scheme also. And the fourth thing, what I believe is like you just keep on writing simple language, simple language. So if you want to update yourself, so keep adding, keep adding new words, very new words, I would say, because uh, these are uh, uh, maybe not new for the world, new for you. So that will help you to add to your vocabularies also. So this is, uh, I find uh, is a uh, very important man. And last but not the least, like uh, when you are writing, uh, you know, it goes to public at large. So you need to take care for the grammar part. So grammar part, like uh, if I, I I have a line to share, like uh, fountain is running. So can we find any grammatical mistake in this? I don't think so. Fountain is running. Okay, this is very good. But like I told you to update yourself, you know, to get more confidence. So I think if we say it, fountain is playing. Because when fountain is running side by side, it's a, a source of entertainment also. So keep adding these things. And from where we get these things, as you ask, what's the importance of reading? These things we learn from reading different, different books, articles, and you know, uh, uh, very sources, uh, you know, like it may be the Google one. So written by different, different uh, writers, right, ma'am? So it should, uh, it should have, uh, you know, a little, something new. It should be something new. Maybe it is uh, innovative for you, not for others. So make uh, something, add something innovative in your writing work. So this, I believe, like uh, one more uh, sentence I want to share with you, like this is, uh, uh, it is raining. It is raining. You will not find any grammatical mistake because as I said, miss, don't go deep in the technical part. We are just writing uh, to convey something to the people at large. So like it is raining, it's, it's good. So common person, you know, when you share it, when it goes to somebody, okay, it is any, okay, it is raining, but it can be better. Like it has been raining. So it has been raining is uh, more meaningful. So that's why I added uh, these uh, five V's. So which will help uh, to make you a better writer uh, without going into the technique, uh, technicalities in the deep, right, ma'am? Thank you. Uh, meaning thing that uh, you should write always with a heart that if you write something meaningful, yeah, it will touch yes, the heart and people will be more excited yeah. for your writing. Yes. 100% uh, of uh, readers will like it 100% ma'am. Yes ma'am. I wanted to know that uh, what fired up your passion for writing? What was that motivation or inspiration which made you okay. to write in such a way? Okay. Thank you, ma'am. So like uh, inspiration, I cannot, it's, a, it's very difficult for me to have a single name that uh, this person is my inspiration. You know, when, uh, when somebody asks you, okay, take this book and start reading. It's very difficult, ma'am. Because, you know, in this way, we can see everybody is uh, 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 somewhat moody in nature, you know. We cannot give any book. We cannot suggest any name. Okay, go and read it. So nothing like this happened with me also. But uh, uh, a single name I cannot have. You know, I learn from 
my surroundings i learn from even even i learn from my students i learn from my friends i learn from environment uh, sometimes uh, we learn from the non living things as well so means uh, there is a, uh, no particular name which i can have with you i can share with you that this particular person is uh, my inspiration but one thing is uh, all, always there like when we see uh, something written by any writer um, it attracts more when the writer's work is appreciated like there are some very good writers uh, means uh, super writer i would say like when whenever we read any news related to them uh, on google or in the newspaper so okay this was the book this was the story written by the person and uh, uh, it was picked up uh, to make a film also so that is quite encouraging also and uh, when uh, this is uh, more attractive when you find okay the person has written only six books and a, one of the book was very famous like uh, we can take example of harry potter ma'am so i read the story of the writer also so uh, initially there were no success uh, no name no fame for that but you know when uh, uh, harry potter was so popular so everybody knows about harry potter so there are few names i know so you know, who initially who initially were not getting such a name and fame but you know suddenly it happens so that is quite encouraging even uh, not only for me for everyone right ma'am thank you so much sir for answering this and sir if you want now wanted to know from you that how much language plays a role because uh, in india we have very uh, you know a very less uh, crowd which is very good at english so sir what language plays a role while while you write ma'am uh, like uh, language if i talk about there are uh, you know many languages like uh, uh, hindi english you know lot of languages are there and uh, we can see lot of competition are being organized by various organizations what i believe is language should be your own language miss uh, like uh, language uh, should be your own language it means like uh, whatever you are writing the words you are using the sentences you are using it should not be copied one like as you said it should come from inside so that language is your language and you should write in that language whether it is uh, you know hindi english marathi whatever is there so uh, this is about language uh, rest of the things like, like previously i told you grammatical part sometimes you know just a change of a word changes the meaning also so that we have to take care otherwise what i think is if your content is very good so language is not a bar so 100% it will be liked by appreciated by everyone and uh, readers will eagerly wait for you to write something and uh, to send to them so uh, this uh, the you know i took lots of interviews uh, from last many days in monomosumi the okay. best right. part uh, thing i well, the best part i loved was that it should be your own language i used to ask this question to everybody everybody told me a different different thing that it should be yes, a easy vocabulary easy words and easy framing of the sentence but you know that thing about you touched me was it should be your own language that is a superb thing yeah, yes, that sir. of yeah, course yeah, it yeah. should be your own language thank, thank you, you sir thank you yeah. th th uh, sir uh, do you have any recommendations about the book which the young writers or readers should read to improve either you can say a grammar or a, any uh, their capability of writing okay so uh, i will not have any name again because you know uh, when we go to any shop Uh, to purchase something we have lot of options and they that always make us confuse right ma'am so i will not suggest any particular name but we must start from like uh, there are some story books we just start from the story books and you know you must have a strong base and that strong base lies in my five v's as i shared with you those five v's will help you to get a better strong the best strong the best base for your writing content but you know reading anything anything which you like to read and one very important thing i want to tell you so which book i should suggest uh, to the young writers as you said so i would say like don't limit yourself like if i suggest a single book and uh, i will say okay go and read a uh, book of this writer so maybe writing style of that writer is limited 
so i don't want uh, to limit our writing work right ma'am so like uh, uh, if i talk about myself i have written fiction i have written non fiction i have written abstract i have written children story i have written uh, written a uh, love i have written about romance i have written lot of content about inspirational things i have written lot of content about motivational things i have written uh, horror content also i have written horror content also i have written I so a, what yeah. i believe is yeah yes ma'am and uh, you know uh, i remember one story written by me that was uh, you know i told you most of my writing content in english but i have written in hindi also because my mother language is you know uh, hindi so i'm good in hindi also but always i take all those five v's i shared with you i take in my writing that i suggested for others also so that story i wrote sometimes it's not limited if i say it's a horror story it's not only the horror story if i say it's just inspiration and and one very important thing is uh, this i want to uh, share before uh, i go further ma'am two things which i find if i uh, take an overview of a whole of my writing work i find two things which are very important one is somewhere in my written content somewhere you find it related to the reality of the life because as i told you i get ideas from my surrounding i get ideas uh, from the things happening uh, i have seen i have seen in the past something like that so even a single content if you talk uh, about my content i can tell you yes this part this point this line is the reality so i always so you will find always a reality in my content whether it's a poem whether it's a story second thing is uh, one is reality second thing is i don't know it automatically happens ma'am i don't know i don't do these things knowingly and you know it automatically happens with me like whenever i write something in last automatically uh i am giving a message i don't know how it happens so it's in my writing i don't know not doing all the things knowingly automatically it comes i leave a message in last so this is important like i was just sharing a horror story so that horror story and that i wrote in hindi so that was ma'am name was bhoot bangla so bhoot bangla like a name uh, suggesting like bhoot bangla okay it's going to be a horror story so what i did uh, i started writing started writing keep uh, i kept adding new things something creative in that also you know non fiction part was also there in that suddenly uh, i don't know what came to my mind i i took a turn to you know uh, love and romance side and that that was the most beautiful part of the story that is also award winning story and you know when the critics gave their views that part was mentioned especially mentioned by all the critics that 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 was the you know golden turn of the story so miss that also encouraged me yes ma'am it is great knowing about you sarvan all the right of i feel because uh, i just uh, being by profession i recently started with the public speaking and uh, last december i published my book that is make your life ridiculously amazing so it's been one year now so even i would love okay, to good. read and learn from you sir <laughs> thank you so much congratulations ma'am ma'am congratulations yes ma'am how that uh, increase the pa- uh, passion of writing for the writers ma'am uh, please uh, will you please repeat ma'am what you said sir uh, what do you uh, do you have any review or what do you say about the topics that are given by mona mosumi for the essay writing particularly how does this encourage or how does this makes writers excited about their passion towards the writing okay like ma'am as i told you uh, you 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 must start as a freelancer like if i ask or somebody ask me okay uh, dr vikas you have to write on this topic because you are not a professional if somebody is giving you a topic write on that topic so maybe you are not good in uh, writing on that topic right ma'am so it's a foundation uh, maybe it's a foundation to the professional if i'm not wrong like uh, 
they write as per the requirement but writers like me and you know there are lakhs of writers they don't have any foundation you know uh, like monomosmi is uh, giving very good topics and uh, i find it of use as well like uh, there are topics for uh, people uh, who have knowledge of uh, uh, every subject like i was from science background so when i got the topic soaring heat of summer so i found it okay this is my cup of tea so right ma'am i immediately uh, started writing on the topic so means whenever any topic comes you know i can write on any topic because you know all topics are related to human all topics are related to our life somewhere directly or indirectly so we can write on any topic but there are some topics so specialist of the subjects like uh, science sst maybe mathematics you know there was a topic on uh, i believe uh, covid also uh, related to covid also was there so means uh, uh, related to the things happening around us so these uh, are in the catch these these are in the catch of the people uh, and a very important thing is not only the writers you know we, we have to, uh, talked a lot about but you know students this include the students also students also take an interest for uh, people of every subject of every age you know i have seen some uh, previous winners of monomosmi also i found uh, there are some uh, you know some retired persons are also there working persons are also there men women children everybody there is something for everybody so that is uh, appreciable for monomosmi yes ma'am Frame it in a sim, one sentence. Then, right, uh, sir. Lastly, I would like right, to ma'am. ask you: Is do you have any message, or would you like to tell anything to the writers, students, or the future participants? Okay, ma'am. Uh, I think I have spoken a lot about uh, for uh, new writers, uh, all the writers, uh, or. who have not started even who have not started writing i have spoken uh, uh, for everyone so but what i want to say i want to add one more thing in all those uh, previous uh, talks ma'am you must try to update yourself one thing you must try something new like see uh, i want to share uh, one thing uh, you know uh, when i started writing uh, i was writing long things long things long things then you know i started editing so whenever you write something you edit it one time two time three time four time five time you know i remember like uh, when we have only one page of newspaper with us and we have to travel alone right ma'am so when generally we read a newspaper we have one page we read it only once but when we have the same page of newspaper and we have to keep it with us uh during a travel of 5 hours 6 hours or maybe more than we are going somewhere we will read it again and again and with every reading we will find something new in that so same thing is with our writing part also when we write something read it one time you will find some maybe you will find some error or you will find something to uh, improve in that read it second time third time and uh, you will not believe uh, there are some uh, award winning uh, content i have stories poems a lot of things are there even after i have won national and international awards in that and today if i start reading i will edit i i will do something i will add something in that also so this is a uh, scope is also there 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 is always a scope to add something to edit to improve like uh, you wrote the content one month before now you are reading it so you will get something new that is known as improvement right ma'am that is known as improvement and now uh, i want to add one thing like i, I said means uh, i will be telling one thing to add new try is don't go with the long content don't go uh, with the mediocre only try to express yourself in minimum words and uh, you know minimum lines you know once i was surprised there was a competition and the condition was written like uh, your poem can be maximum of uh, uh, 40 lines something like that was there and minimum one line that struck to my mind how a poem can be of one line so my these things you learn by the experience these things you learn by the time right when you get uh, uh, 
uh, in touch more and more you get more experience you learn more things so after that you know uh, that was uh, my you know initial stages when i came across all these things so now i myself have written a uh, few words poem in the few words only and you know all like uh, one um, one poem is there in english which i remember the name is the book the book is the name and you know this poem consists of 20 words and all the 20 words end with a k book hook crook uh, this way miss and it's a meaningful no grammatical mistake like i told you uh, five v's so following all the rhyme scheme is also there new words are also there so everything is followed in that and that consists of only 20 words so what i want to say try something new uh, don't go much uh, deep in the technicality so that will help you and you know uh, the most important thing which i believe is enjoy writing enjoy writing is the most important ma'am thank you thank you thank you so much sir there is lots of things to be learned from you uh, i request all the viewers who are watching this interview we have very great personality and who has given us lots of things out of his experience so we uh, it can be said that writing is a continuous journey like learning is a continuous journey so we must be very much updated and follow all the things which dr vikas has said to us so thank you so much sir for joining with mona mausumi uh, we are glad that you are part of us and uh, anything you would like to say sir thank you very much uh, ruchika ma'am thank you very much and uh, it was an honor for me also to give an interview to share you actually you gave me a platform to share my views uh, with the public at large is going to be viral i believe so <laughs> so thank you very much for inviting me thank you mona mausumi so Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, uh, sir, and thank you so much. All the viewers will be having other interviews soon. Till then, sir, के पास से बहुत कुछ सीखना है. Kindly focus on that and be a very good writer, very best writer in future. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ruchika. Thank you very much.